Hello everybody, how are you doing okay? And welcome to the River Way near Ripley. I thought I'd come up from my cabin today for a little stroll. It's exactly now six weeks since I did my calf in in that 1500 at Aldershot. I'm still not running, but I am at least able to walk now and been doing quite a bit of cycling on Zwift. I think it's probably gonna be a couple of weeks before it's sensible to try a run, but at least I'm making progress, rather slow progress having said that. So apologies for the lack of actual running videos of late. And thanks once again for everyone who subscribed, get me over the 1,000 subscriber list. So I thought in this video, as well as giving you a mini update on my progress, I thought I'd look at some half marathon stats. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on standards of UK marathon running. And so I thought I'd do a similar one this time, looking at the half marathon standards to see if we can see a similar pattern of progress over the last 10 to 15 years and to see whether there's any correlation to the new wave of carbon plated racing shoes in the last few years. So let's step over to the computer and see what we can see. Okay, so the first graph we're looking at here is the number of UK half marathon runners in the years 2004 through to, uh, to 2020 that have exceeded the standards here, which just happened to be the, the London Marathon Championship standards for 2021 if you don't have any other entry qualification. Now, normally those standards are 115 and 130. I'm going to look, I'm going to look at that chart um, in another graph. Now, interestingly, the 11230 is also the exact time of my PB, which I did in 2005. And that year, I was 240th equal. That's why there's 241 men there. The men is the blue line here, and the women are the purple bars. So interestingly, you can see as the years have rolled on since I did my PB, then the number of runners, both male and female, exceeding these standards has largely been rising year on year and then nike vaporfly came out in july 2017 so it would only have been used for the autumn marathons by a few runners and then perhaps only the first year was of extensive use of the four percent it was 2018 with the next percent not coming out until last year so you can certainly see there's maybe some evidence of standards rising as a result of shoes but also it's quite clear also that the trend was already on the way up. So it's not entirely down to the shoes, clearly, that these standards are rising. There's other factors definitely at play. And that's the, certainly the exact same thing we saw with the marathon standards. So as a comparison here, I pulled in the equivalent marathon chart from my previous video. And the marathon chart, what the one on the bottom here, is the number of runners inside my PB of 233.53 and three hours for women. And I think these are reasonably close standards because 11230 and 23353 I did both of those PBs within a month of each other in 2005 and you can see just from the general trend line how similar these lines are the only slight dip was in 2018 I think various commentators have said that was probably due to the fact that the conditions in the London Marathon that year were quite tough it was quite hot so I think that sort of slowed down some of the times so that dip is probably just due to the fact that marathon standards in the UK are very much dependent on that one race Whereas obviously there's far more half marathons that go on. So we're not seeing that dip there in 2018. And it's following the rise that was already been seen in the previous years. Obviously in 2020, with very few races going on, we've had that in inevitable dip. And you can see that although the numbers in the half marathon in 2020 were somewhat down, inevitably because of COVID, they're still, um, still very comparable to what they were about five years ago. Now, interestingly, far more men was able to achieve the same standard than the women. Why that is, is probably a topic for another discussion. Another interesting thing with this data, that there's far more half marathon runners achieving these sort of times than there are marathon runners. So does that suggest a lot of half marathon runners don't actually do the marathon or that just people don't, aren't able to convert their half marathon form into, into full marathon? I think that'll be a subject of another video when I look at to see why it is that standards in marathon running compared to half marathon seem to be somewhat weaker for sure. Now if we take a look at another graph this is now down to a slightly easier standard. This is equivalent to roughly the good for age standards for London Marathon. So I've set these to 125 for the men and 145 for the women which kind of compares reasonably closely to the three hours for men and three hours 45 that the good for age standards for seniors roughly are i know they're tweaking them a bit for 2021 but it's around in this sort of ballpark and it gives quite a good rough benchmark for this stats again here the light blue is the men and the purple bars are the women and you can see a very similar trend to what we're seeing in the previous graph a high standard very much a, a rise in standards as the years gone on and only in recent years with the event of the carbon fiber shoes 
this, that trend is just continuing. So you could argue that whatever was causing the standards to rise before 2017 when the vapor fly 4% came along well that trend has still been continuing apart from obviously covid as well in 2020 and the numbers here are quite large so we're talking in the men in 2019 over 8000 runners achieving 125 or better and in the women well over 10000 achieving 145 or or better which is basically over double what it was 10 years ago which is quite remarkable really if we take a look now at elite standards, which I've defined here as men under 65 minutes and women to 75 minutes. And then you, again, you can see that it's still an upward trend, definitely. In 2004, the first year I had data, we had just six men doing that standard, whereas in 2019, we had 30. And interestingly, in 2020, the numbers have rather held up. I think that most just reflect that there's been more elite races going on than uh, races available to sort of club standard runners. And certainly the numbers in 2020 are very comparable to what they had been in the, in the previous few years. And just looking at that data, you wouldn't really know there's been a global pandemic on the whole year. Perhaps in this graph, you might think there is more of a shoe element to the numbers because until 2017, both numbers were kind of in no higher than about 15. Whereas they suddenly seem to have jumped up in 2018, jumped up in 2019. And as I said, 2020 is holding up well. So maybe there is a bit more of a shoe element there in the previous few years. But there is also more general trend up, as we were seeing in the other graphs. So one final graph here. This is the traditional half marathon standards for the London Marathon Championship start. 115 for men and 130 for women. And again, it's a very similar trend upwards, isn't it? So... 2004 2005 when i did my pb we were at quite a low level and it's been rising ever since with a peak in 2019 but obviously an inevitable dip in 2020 but certainly in this one you would say that the general trend we're seeing here is very similar to all the other graphs so if we go back to the standards which are equate to my pb and just talk about, as we did for the marathon, what are the possible reasons for this general increasing standards over the years? Well, I think I've put forward a theory that part of it could be due to part run and just generally increasing the popularity of running. I and mean, I certainly have seen a lot more people running these days than I had when I was doing my best times in 2005. Of course, of course, the running was very popular then, but I think part run has definitely put the topic of running into the agenda of what is a good activity to do. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at this, some of these graphs of the half marathon standards. It's quite reassuring to see that the standards in the UK are on the up. We'll take a look at some other distances another time. 5k and 10k have been on the obvious two ones to see. And also maybe go down to track where obviously the road shoes don't really influence track so much. Okay, well, I hope you found this interesting once again. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye. So a little historical interlude on the Riverway navigation here at I'm at Peppercourt Lock, and you can see it was built in the 17th century.